I'm almost 40 years old. You think I want to sit here? I got three kids. There's not too many Thank people you. like you out here, dog. No. I'm out here every day, There's, man. If there were more people like you, there'd be yeah. less homeless. What's up guys, it's your boy Romeo and today's a really big day because today is the first snow day in Toronto. Right now, as popping as it is, unfortunately there's still people that are living on the street. So we're going to find some of those people and help them out today. So, it's about to get real. Also, uh, got a little interesting twist here in case you guys ever want to do something. There's no, it doesn't always just have to be Tim cards. It could be money, it could be clothing. Help whenever you can, because trust me, it goes a far away. Oh man, these things are heavy, man. Oh, oh God. Oh. Baby, that's someone that wants a hot chocolate. Yeah. Quick question to you. Like what's what's like what's a piece of advice or something that you would share for like people watching this and just people in general of like I would say stay in school, stay away from drugs, stay away from alcohol, have a wonderful life, man. Think positive. And right here, this is what it's all about. That's what makes me live every day. Don't judge those who aren't willing to give one day because the following day they just might be able to. Just because somebody says no one day doesn't mean they're going to say no every day. I have one guy who says no to me all year long and then turns around and at Christmas gives me 50 bucks. So, I don't judge him. Why bother? He tells me every day I can, I can, I can. Come Christmas, here you go. This is what, this is the I can. Some people rather do it all one lump sum, some people do it throughout the day. I got one guy who comes by and gives me 10 cents every hour. It all adds up. People say take it uh, day by day. Uh, uh, I guess the best way to put it in, in a piece of advice is take it second by second. That's the way I look at it. Because you never know what's coming around the corner. Like, like it's not very um, good to assume things or to bully anybody also. You know what I mean? If you're not doing anything, you know what I mean? You just take it second by second, like I say. In instead of day by day, like, you can take it day by day, but uh, try to focus on the minute, uh, what you're up to. It will prolong second by second because time is by the second, right? So, you know, it goes into minutes and it goes into hours. Yeah. yeah. And then we got the, the length of the day, right? Stay focused, stay positive, like you say. Maybe for y'all, right? Yeah. No matter how many people are doing it or how normal it may seem, don't ever use drugs. No matter what kind of drugs you have. So, what don't ever use drugs? drugs. No matter if it's weed or ecstasy, crack cocaine or heroin. It doesn't matter if your friends are doing it and it seems like normal, right? People smoking crack cocaine on the street like how we would smoke cigarettes. Don't ever use drugs no matter what it is. Even drinking alcohol. We're good. Hey, you all have a Merry Christmas. Why you feel it's important for people to help and give back and just like give back what the hell do you have in the world straight up there's love there's hate then there's generosity if you don't have that you have you don't have either of those two you can hate the generosity you can love the generosity but at least if you have the generosity you're giving back helping one another you can only do so much um, my place that I'm in is, is I'm homeless in the community and I'm not from here originally right um, just doing what you can for anybody in the community when you can you know what I mean like you can't get yourself in trouble. I find, like, if you're a Superman or if you're if you're really a person who who really um, wants to help someone and they do, they can get themselves in trouble. You know what I mean? So there's many different ways of helping someone. You know what I mean? Through like your voice, through your physical. You know what I mean? All the above. 
Um, so just doing what you can, trying to be nice, you know what I mean, is, is the best way you can just handle yourself in your community. You know what I mean? That's the way I look at it, right? So, yeah. Whenever you guys get a chance yeah. to support someone else or help, yeah. you know, please do it, please pay it forward. Yeah. And we're doing it, we're living. <laughs> you guys just stay safe and stay strong, all right? <laughs> Take care, guys. Much love, man. Yeah, Make sure you keep good. the love and the peace flowing, man. Help out when you can and keep it moving. Thank That's you, Jason. It. You're welcome, my brother. You take care of yourself. Thank you, my brother. Like when I moved to Toronto, I was homeless for the first three years. Yeah. You know, I used to like walk on the street, and I would always wonder, like, why the f people just always walk by like I don't exist. You know what I'm saying? People but actually think they're better than us. You gotta have a heart out here, you know. Yeah. Me, I'm respectful. Trying to keep going, yeah. trying to make some money, you know. Yeah. yeah, that's how we not, nah, man. Somebody just bought me a coffee. I don't want it, but I'll take the hot chocolate. Not for sure. Like, what about the rest? What about the work? How you feeling? Uh, I don't know yet. It's a lot to take in. These messages, they're really taking them in because they are important. Like I said, I used to be homeless when I moved out here. And I would wonder, like, where the hell am I gonna sleep? I literally used to be, like, just over there in that corner. How did I end up homeless? Didn't make no sense, but. <sighs> well, please, if you can, if you think that this is something that's important and something that more people need to know about, share this video, hit like so I know, leave a comment so I know, and let's keep this positive energy going. Let's keep it moving, man, because this is way bigger than just me. This is way bigger than just you. This is us, you know what I'm saying? This is us. We are a community. I used to live on the street. Here you go, man. Stay warm, okay? Warm, right? Yeah. Bucks on, man. I got, like, I'm in a position where I'm able to like get this stuff now. So it's like, why the f did I not help? You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people, when I was on the street, a lot of people were passing by like they don't f exist. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, now I'm a, like, I'm a person. You know what I'm saying? You don't know the shit that I've been through. You know what I'm saying? So like, why not? Why not help? Hey. For all you out there, my, my official name is Mark James McCready, nicknamed Karma. I give a shout out to everybody in Toronto, Ontario, and I'm rocking Canada. God bless. Much love, man. Thank you, Mark. Have a great week or have a better week. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Don't try, just keep going, you know what I'm saying? So. Just keep my eyes open. Yes, okay? and thanks for putting me on game. I didn't learn something new. I need to keep that. Yeah. Watch out who you're talking to. Is this, you work here? Uh, I guess. Is this your place? Yes, I do. What is it? What do you guys do? I'm doing basically here for take care of the store. I live basically uh, around this area, but uh, I work here. Right? So you're in this area. Can you yeah. talk a little bit about like the homeless problem and, and like there seems to be a lot of drugs in this area and, and stuff like you know, that? You know, this area I don't think we have too much drug area. It used to be. Like 15 years ago, every corner, you know, you can, people have. Uh, try to find the drugs but now when you're living with the nice people then you're going to change your mentality right right so that's why the government want to do is change the, uh, the mentality of the people you know and they're living with the sharing with the same life standard that's the reason otherwise good area i don't think so uh, anything happened so far when i was three o'clock in the midnight the toronto is a great city i live in chicago i know the great city great even you can walk three o'clock, nobody asks you, you know, what you're doing, where you're going, no. Until you do something, slim mistake. Otherwise, the police is so good. You're not gonna check every person or whatever. It's a nice area. I, li I like to stay here. Hi, uh, my name is Joel. I'm a homeless guy, I live on the street, I sleep in the park every day with my girl, or wherever I could sleep. Stay off drugs, it's, I don't know, just, I don't know, God bless. Think about the man up upstairs. Have a wonderful day, God bless, bro. That's right, man. Joel, Romeo, we all got a voice. We're all important in this world. So it's important that you guys help, support, do whatever you can. I'm only homeless because I have cancer. I've been clean, like I said, two weeks now because I screwed up. Not one person will give me a chance. Why? Because they're too busy judging me by the appearance, by the outlook. I'm almost 40 years old. You think I want to sit here? 
I got three kids. You honestly think I'd rather, I, I want to say no. I'd rather be given a chance, get an apartment, get my kids back, and go about my business, just like you do, every day. The only difference is, where's that chance? There isn't it, because everybody's too busy judging. We're going into World War III, because nobody wants to stop judging. That's some real shit. Well, since you already got a hot chocolate, Tim's car. It's not much, but... Everybody counts my love. 20 help? I would, definitely. Because now I only have 80 more to make, so I can rent out the room. Hey. I make 100 bucks a day just to rent out a room so my dog doesn't have to... Cheers, love. Just so my dog doesn't have to stay outside. He's been, I've had him since he was six weeks old. He's saved my life and my two kids' lives. Thank, Thank you, you Romeo, for have a great day. everything that you have done. Because even with the generosity you've given, you've learned something as well. And that's the beauty of it, is you gave and you learned. Dude, Not too many thanks. people like you out here, dog. No. I'm out here every day, yes. man. If there were more people like you, there'd be yeah. less homeless. Yeah. For every one person who could spare one dollar to the homeless, even a quarter, be, there would be even a one quarter. less homeless person out on the street. Even a quarter, and man. And if they even a, yeah, even a quarter. Even a quarter. Even a quarter. By lunchtime, you'd have a couple hundred bucks to go to a hotel, and you know that's my goal today, bro. I'm trying to put There's my a thousand to the hotel people, people in this world. Home. I sleep so every outside, quarter, that's for every one person, for every dollar for every one person, like I said, is one less one that's person. And that has to come right? without judgment. And today was a great day. You know, we talked to some amazing people. We were able to share some of the stuff that we have. You know, hopefully brightening up and warming up some people's hearts. You know, I think today was important. Not just for me, but for you guys, because you get to learn something new and you get to see how much of an impact just one little thing can have.